What is happening? This is Nathan, and you watch Robot Masters. So, in this video, I got some popular robots. We're going to be testing LG, the 360, Roombas, Roblox on this counter. Why? Well, we're actually going to do a cliff sensor test where we see how well these robots can navigate on this countertop without falling off. Also, you may notice that this countertop's black, and I also have a really dark oven range as well. We'll see if these robots can transition across the cliffs, the ledges, and make it all the way to the sink and back. Alright, you guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, so both the Roomba S9 and Roomba i7 did the best in this test. They were able to transition over the middle crevice and the ledge, no problem. That's between my oven range and the countertop. There's like a crack right there. And the Roombas had no problem. They were able to go back and forth with ease. Um, the black countertop did not affect the cliff sensors for these robots. So I would say the Roombas did the best in this test. Okay, so the Roomba i7 had no problem transitioning over the cracks, the crevice between the oven range and the black countertop. I chose black because sometimes this will fool the cliff sensors, as previously stated on the Roblox, the earlier versions, like the Roblox Xiaomi had problems with that. I believe the Roblox uh, S5 had the problem as well, but the new Roblox S6 didn't really have any issues with it. It just would get hung up on the cracks, as you'll see later in this video. So, um, in my opinion, if you want to look for a good robot vacuum, you do need one that's slightly aggressive. Not too aggressive though, like on the Roomba S9, on its first firmware version because it would bang up your walls. But you don't want something that's not very aggressive, kind of like the Neato D7, where yes, it would not touch your furniture, but it would not go in areas where it could technically get to, but it felt like it would bang up the furniture. So, if that makes sense, you'd have to kind of find the right balance between aggressiveness and non-aggressiveness. Okay, so here's my latest robot I bought for Robot Masters. This is the LG uh, Core Zero R9. This is LG's latest robot vacuum. They created like the HomeBot, like the 3.0, the 2.0. I believe the HomeBot Turbo was the last generation robot vacuum, which had all the security features. But you may know notice that the LG kind of struggles on this. It's not because the cliff sensors are being fooled by the black countertop. It's actually the crack between the oven range and the countertop. Yes, it's a very small crack, but the robot thinks it's a cliff and will not transition over it. Uh, I do think the robot needs to be a little bit more aggressive and try to transition over it. Okay, so the robot did well on this part of the test, and it also did well on my darker oven range but you may notice that the robot stopped right here well that's because the wheels actually got hung up on the little lip uh despite the robot having the largest wheels of any of my robot vacuums it did get hung up here and it spun its wheels for a bit Okay, here's the Venigo A3, one of my cheapest robot vacuums. I got 400 bucks. Again, it does fine with the black countertops. It just gets hung up on the cracks, so I would say it did okay. Now, let's look at the little 240, Roomba's smallest little mopping robot. I love this guy. It's very cute, and it did okay. Uh, it didn't get hung up on the black countertop, and it even tried to transition over the ledge. Good job. So here's the... W400 and like the other robots gets hung up on the cracks and it did manage to try to make its way over the crack which was quite impressive since this robot has one of the smallest wheels of any of the robot vacuums I own. Um, due to the suction and the weird glass countertop it did get kind of hung up and bogged down a little bit so you will notice that it didn't really move on my oven range there. Okay, so let's look at the last two robot vacuums. Here's the Roblox S6, which has been known to have issues in the previous models with black countertops. But you notice that the S6 isn't fooled. The cliff sensors do fine. It's just a little crack that hangs up this robot. It's the same as with the 360 S6. It's the little crack. And like I said before, they try to reposition themselves. So the 360 was trying to reposition itself. And it just kept spinning around over and over again. What do you guys think? How did the robots do? I think the Roombas did the best. Um, the LG did okay. Uh, it did get hung up a couple times. Looks like the 360, the Roblox kind of struggled. Uh, the little Brava 240 did okay, and so did the I like W400. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please smash the like button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Robot Masters, 
how they do a lot of odd, crazy testing that some people may not think of, like putting a robot on a countertop. Well, be safe out there, have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys next time.